All right, gang, welcome to Hanson Speed Shop. It's time for another muscle bike ride and review. Today we're gonna to be doing this 66 Schwinn Stingray. So let's go check it out. All right, guys, so here it is. If you're interested, we did a full build series on this bike, start to finish. It was like five parts, I think. And we even did a whole video just on doing that back wheel. So the idea for this bike was I found this original paint uh, 66 Schwinn and I wanted to clone it to look like a 64 um, I never made a black 64 Schwinn Stingray so I wanted it to look like something that was super rare and a survivor but I also wanted to customize the bike to basically the ultimate um, like the kids ultimate hot rod custom Stingray so I'll go through and talk about everything um, on the bike what we did to it and now uh, what makes it such a sweet cool bike All right, so I guess starting with the frame. This is a 66 Schwinn frame original black paint It has been touched up in some areas by the previous owner um, But this is the shorty frame. So it made it perfect for doing kind of a clone of a 64 um, It's got the correct wingtip chain guard and then it had uh, a reproduction decal added to it to give it the look that we wanted. Um, this is the original 66 black um, fork, and I believe these are new decals. And I think this Schwinn up here might be original. Um, that's probably original. This decal on the seat tube, I believe, is a reproduction though. I added the SDP sticker on here just to give it that cool 60s hot rod look, and most kids did that back then. Um, so starting up front, you have a correct um, 28 spoke S7 front wheel with actual 64 date code axle. And then I added these super cool spinner Ben-Hur uh, accessory uh, wing nuts um, that were in my collection of parts just to give it the, the look that I wanted. Also added these really cool um, black cross flag valve stem caps. And then a reproduction um, brick tire up front. This bike's also gonna be uh, a rider. So it, I w wasn't super concerned with everything being, you know, like perfectly show bike. Um, it's, it's a rider quality bike. Um, so up top then we have our um, 66 style stem with a pair of 64 style handlebars. These are the early wide style handlebars. And I added these super awesome um, black with gold flake um, slimline Schwinn grips. Super awesome look on this bike and they match the seat. Um, so those are super cool. I had these in my collection for years and I finally had something to, to put them on. Um, so the seat, correct 64 style solo polo seat and the super rare uh, leopard print pattern. Um, correct 64 style square back sissy bar with the pinch um, correct Q bolts for the seat. Um, <clears throat> we put the correct extended um, chrome seat clamp on here this would have been correct for like on a not on a 66 but we're trying to kind of give it the 64 look so that's correct um it's got the lucky seven um chain ring these would have been ran you know basically up till 69 i believe and then they ran it even into the 70s on some of the like stingray juniors and stuff um these are the correct wing tip waffle pedals that would have been found on a 64 um, we just ran a chrome chain to give it the more hot rod custom look. The back wheel. Um, again, we did a whole video on, on doing the conversion of this wheel. So you start with a Schwinn uh, S2 28 spoke wheel. And then this is a wacky mag wheel conversion kit. And <clears throat> I polished the spokes and, and put it all on here. And it looks absolutely sweet. Um, the back tire is a brand new um, 2020 reproduction um, Blackwall Slick off one of those repop 
Stingrays that came out in 2020. A real nice, super soft rubber. Looks awesome on here. Gives it that cool hot rod look. Um, and then I added this to the bike. Um, so this is the correct 6364 style reflector bracket. And then normally the, on 64s, they had a little round reflector. This was original um, accessory Optrix um, reflector that was offered back in the 60s. They made a couple different designs, but this is my favorite with the bat. And then if you move, the bat moves and it's just like super, super cool. So I added that on the back. On this side of the bike, uh, I added the correct style uh, brake mount, just kickback brake only. Um, I wanted to put a chrome kickstand on here. Um, once I find one, we'll put a chrome one on here, but we're just running this one for now. Has the um, correct little shorty cranks, um, correct AS bolt on the seat clamp. Um, the head badge is not correct for a 64 but is correct for a 66. Um, a 64, it would have had a silver R. Um, but again, just basically wanted a cool rider quality bike. Um, we went through, everything has been re-greased, rebuilt, redone to make this a super nice rider quality bike and not just a showpiece or something to stare at. We can jump on this thing and ride it, which is what we are going to do next. I have not rolled this bike since I put it together over last winter. So uh, let's go take it for a ride. Okay, so like I said, I have not rolled this bike yet. I do have a 64, so I have ridden this style bike before with the solo polo seat and the style handlebars, but uh, my 64 has a springer on it, so it's a little bit different. Um, but let's just take a look at this bike, because if you would have had this bike in 64 as a kid, you would have been the envy of every other kid anywhere you went, period. This thing is so sweet. I can't wait to take it for a ride and bring you guys along. Um, <clears throat> when I put these tires on probably like six, six to eight months ago, I just used like the cheapy Walmart brand uh, inner tubes. And I'm totally surprised because the tires are still pretty hard. Usually after a couple months, they, they kind of all go flat and you got to repump the tires up. Really happy with the cheapo inner tubes. So now if you guys are not familiar with these early Stingrays, the first two years, 63, 64, Schwinn ran this style um, banana seat. Now there's supposed to be a tag on the back of here. These seats were made by persons. And um, they look super cool, especially with the square back sissy bar. They, however, are super uncomfortable. Um, it's basically like just sitting on a, on a, a two by four. Um, so that's why in 65, they went to the standard style banana seat. It's got more of an arc in it, a little bit more padding and just a lot more comfortable. Um, so, but since we were going for this look, that's what we ran and this, in my opinion it's like the coolest pattern um they also made a tiger stripe one which is pretty sweet but the leopard one's like my favorite um so let's take this thing for a ride so here is the view sitting on the bike these handlebars are like the, um cool super wide cool feeling you look down and see the double ben Hur spinners just gr a, a absolutely great look on this bike looking down black paint leopard seat super cool actually sitting on this seat for the first time this original material um it's probably 60 year old seat and it's actually not that bad it actually to me feels a little bit more comfortable than my other one which is the same thing it's just white but for whatever reason um, so we're going to take this thing for a ride. I apologize if my camera work isn't the best. I'm holding the camera with one hand. I ride one-handed. And uh, we'll take you guys for a little quick spin um, out here on the road. And uh, just give this thing a little bit of a road test. And then I'll tell you what I think. So here we go. So the thing on um, these early Stingrays, the gear ratio on them is a little bit different you kind of really got to pedal your butt off to keep the thing going 
um, but they pedal easy, but you just gotta pedal a lot to get get your speed up and keep your speed up. Um, here's a look down at the bike. Let's test our rear brake. Rear brake works really good. Hopefully our mag wheel that we put together is holding up, seems to be. Um, our front wheel doesn't seem to be bent or anything. These little shorty stingrays actually handle really good because they're like a short wheelbase. Really, really like nice handling bike. Um, just you really get a workout on these. They're, they're great for if you just want to ride around like at a car show or something like that. Um, but you definitely would not want to take this thing on a long bike ride unless you're <laughs> really in shape. Um, so really cool bike, really fun to ride. I hope you guys dug it. Um, go check out the channel. Got tons, got a whole playlist of muscle bike videos, more to come in the future. So hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of the bike. If you haven't went and checked out the whole build series on this, that's also on the same muscle bike playlist on my channel. Go check that out. Otherwise, until next time, guys, get out work on your projects. Get those hands dirty and greasy. Stay cool, and we'll catch you cats on the next one. Thanks for watching.